Hello guys, welcome to Laravel Tutorials and this is Ruben Raj. In my previous videos, I have shown how to set up Laravel in your local machine as well as I have shown how to give a connection between MySQL database with the Laravel application and I uh, have explained much and important things about migrations. If you develop a larger application with huge number of databases, you should be more, I mean, you should be a, a experienced person in uh, handling migration so if you want to do i mean if you want to know what migration does you can go back and check out my videos what is migration and how migration works and in this video i'm going to show how to set up login and uh, authentication mechanism in laravel application trust me guys it's not a toughest job in laravel to set up login mechanism because laravel gives an uh, option out of the box to create login mechanism the only thing you need to do is you just need to execute that command. What it will do is in the background, it will create the pages for login and uh, registering a new user and as well as uh, forget password page. And it will create the code for controlling. I mean, the logic to login as well as for registration as well as for forget password. And, uh, and I'll show how to do it now. So you can see here my Laravel server is up and running now and uh, there is no option called login or register now. And even in the views folder, you can see there is no UI related code for login mechanism so far. And uh, to do that, uh, we need to execute the command called php artisan make auth. So what we are doing is we are telling the Laravel application, I mean, we are telling the artisan command to make the authentication mechanism for this application, the application blog which we are working on. I'm going to execute this command and you can see what changes are going to happen in the resources folder because in the resources folder, what we do, I mean, what we create is uh, we create all, all our user interface files and I'm going to execute this command and it says authentication scaffolding generated successfully so it means it generated the code in the background for us successfully so you can see here the new folder created called auth and uh, there are ui files i mean it's nothing but html files created in the background for us so you don't need to write any of the code for login so now i'm going to refresh the page so here now, now you can see there are two options for us, login and registry, but you, you didn't wrote any code for these two options. You just executed this command. In the background, it created these two options as well as it created the page also. So if you click login, you will get this login page with the options like email and password. But so far there is no registered user in the table. You can see in the users, the table is empty. So I can't able to do login now. So for that, I have to do registration first. So, but why this button is not working? Yes, we need to include some code. I mean, we, ju we need to include some JavaScript files to make this button work. So after you execute this command, uh, look for the file called uh, app.blade.php. So in that file, you have to one second yeah you have to include vendor javascript and the manifest javascript uh, file to make this work because in the vendor javascript file we are including the java jquery libraries so if you don't include those uh, libraries actually these uh, ui sometimes yeah not sometimes the ui will not work properly so before that i'll include those two libraries quickly the first one is vendor.js and the second one uh, i think uh, manifest.js i'm not sure about the order we will check it here refreshing the page no it's not working i think it's a uh, manifest and uh, vendor so you can see here now the button is working and uh, we having two options called login and uh, there is an option called register and if you forget your password you can reset your password so all the ui generated automatically using the command so the artisan created file for us and it also wrote 
the logic in the background and I can show you where the logic resides on. So you can see here the forget password controller is here and uh, login controller file is here, register controller is here and reset password controller is here. So you didn't wrote anything in the, I mean by yourself, but Laravel by itself wrote code for you. So now I'm going to register first so that I can show the login demo. So, so far there is no user registered with this application. Now I'm going to give my details, rubanraj, rubanraj at gmail.com and the password will be password and uh, reconfirm password. So it's uh, what it did is it registered the user and it's actually logged into the application and it navigated us to the home folder and it says dashboard you are logged in and you can go here and check the logged in user actually i gave my name as rubanraj so it shows my name here and you can do logout even the logout mechanism comes out of the box if you click logout it will automatically do the logout for you you can now log in with the registered email id i gave this email id for registration and the password was password itself now again it's saying you are now logged in and now we can go and check the table users table and if you see here i can make it bigger so you can see here it uh, created a record for new user the name is rupandrash and the email id and the password but here what laravel doing is it's not storing the password uh, as a plain text like users enters in the text box but instead it's uh, converting that password into some encrypted form it's in uh, by default uh, it's using a bcrypt mechanism to encrypt your plain text password to this encrypted form so you don't need to worry about it so it, even that will happen out of the box you don't need to write any code for that so now we are logged in now we can log out and again we can log in so if i give uh, wrong password actually I'm just typing random stuff in the box and uh, I'm going to click enter login but it says the credential does not match because the password is wrong even in well registration uh, you can do like uh, you can give improper um, improper way of uh, I mean improper email address I mean invalid email address technically here it's not an it, it's not an valid email address and I'm giving some uh, password like password and password if I try to register technically if uh, I mean uh, for developer creating this register registration page uh, he will validate all the fields so he will uh, he will validate the email field whether it's a valid email address or it's an invalid email address but so far we didn't write any code for validation but if i do register you can see here the email must be a valid email address even this has been done by default using uh, i mean the command which we have executed before so here i'm giving password so this is one type of validation. It's uh, validated for uh, valid email address or not. And here I gave one password, a password, but here I'm giving a mismatch, I mean some wrong password. So here it says the password confirmation does not match because uh, the two passwords are not matching. So you don't need to write any code to do this validation. By default, it will do automatically. So that's why the login i mean that's why the laravel is so popular it have a lot of inbuilt options uh, like this and uh, the other thing is uh, the other thing i wanted to speak is the forgot password so if you give your email address it will send the password reset link but so far we didn't <coughs> So far, we didn't configure any mail server. For example, if you give your email address, it will send the reset link to your mail address. But so far, we didn't configure any mail server with our application. So in my next video, I'll show how to configure a
test mail server with the Laravel application so that you can uh, provide your mail address and you can send password links so that uh, Laravel application will generate a password link for you. I mean, not password link, password reset link for you and it will uh, forward the reset link to the mail address which you provide here and you can receive the mail uh, in the test mail server. I'll show it in my next video. So this is all for this video and uh, if you have any questions or if you got any error while you try this in your machine, you can just post those uh, queries in the comment box. I'll try to answer for those queries and if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and uh, if you want me to do more videos about Laravel and other technical stuff, you can subscribe to my channel. Definitely I'll do it for you guys and uh, thank you very much. See you on my next video.